This video contains information that you've probably never knew about a dangerous Chicago gang that almost made it big time like NLMB or OTF. But this Northside gang was putting in so much work that they lost their most valuable assassins too early. It all started between the 1970s and the 80s with the Farewell family, which is a historic set of gangster disciples in Rogers Park with a member count of at least 200 by 2011. And as of the day, most of these members go by ICG, which is insane cutthroat gangsters or PBG which stands for pool bag gang. Hold on, let's pull a bit of this out for Munchie real quick, man. Oh shit. You want some juice for the nigga? nigga? Sweet cool ass, ass, ass nigga. Fuck sweet ass. ass, 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 ass I know who he has. I know who he has. Get, get, get. It ain't nothing though. We still out here. They talking about on that car. On that car. Who that? Who that shorty? But the beef all started back in December 19th, 2008, only six days before Christmas. Isaiah Stroud was in the 1500 block of West Jarvis Avenue outside of a CTA red line station when Lock City member Martrell Williams walked up on him and stabbed him to death. Isaiah Stroud, aka Freaky's death, would start a whole crazy war on the north side of Chicago. Lock City member Martrell Williams was arrested a week later in New York, and Freaky was only 16 at the age of his death. And only about six months later, another the ICG member will lose his life June 1st, 2009, at around 4 a.m. Ramel Calliston, aka Rude Boy from ICG, was at a social club in the 3700 block of West 79th Street when the act of armed robbery emerged. Ramel Calliston, aka Rude Boy, was shot during the robbery and he was pronounced dead at the hospital. Then, six months later, another ICG member would lose his life. This would be the third ICG member in a row that would lose their life. Magnut Millie, aka Mag. Millie was inside of a home on December 21st, 2009, in the 5800 block of North Wayne Avenue, was stabbed to death at around 10:45 a.m. He was also a well-loved ICG member. Then ICG would go about two years without losing another member. But then on March 5th, 2011, Edward Townsend, aka Lil Ed from ICG, was standing with a friend in the 1600 block of West Lunt Avenue. When all of a sudden, shots were fired just before 3 a.m. 18-year-old Edward Townsend, aka Lil Ed, was dead on the scene, and the friend, 31 years of age, was left with gunshot wounds to the leg and was listed in stable condition. This next member will be one of the most notable members to lose their life in ICG, and they would name the whole gang after him in his honor. January 20th, 2012, at around 10.45 on a cold Chicago night, 911 received a call of someone being unresponsive. And when police got there, they found 15-year-old Anton Sanders, aka Pooh Bear from ICG. Pooh Bear was close to a lot of people in ICG. He also had a brother named Pep who died in 2014 in a different war. So this guy Pooh Bear was a well-loved member, and a lot of people jumped off the porch for him and turned the beef up a few notches. So only three days later on January 23, 2012, Jonathan Bell and Dion Miller, two Lock City affiliates, were in traffic around 12.45 a.m. when someone pulled up on them and fired shots into that sports utility vehicle, killing 26-year-old Dion Miller and killing 27-year-old Jonathan Bell. These guys were both Lock City affiliates and only died three days after Pooh Bear. Then on April 5th, 2012, James Brown, aka JB from the PBG set, was on parole for the 2009 shooting of a nine-year-old boy where he was killed less than a block away where he shot the nine-year-old boy. 2.05 p.m., James Brown was in the 6800 block of North Ashland Avenue when someone walked up on him and shot him multiple times. He pleaded guilty for the shooting of the nine-year-old boy in 2011 where the nine-year-old boy was walking with his family and James rode up on a bike shooting, aiming at his two older brothers that was 15 years of age. The nine-year-old boy was struck in the left upper thigh and survived the shooting. But then on July 5th, 2013, another Lock City member would lose their life. It was at about 5 a.m. where Elliot Frazier, aka Lil E from Lock City was shot in the chest in the 7400 block of North Pauling Street. He was also a well-loved Lock City member. But then on July 14th, 2013, one of the most notable Lock City members will lose their life. 3.43 p.m. Blake Lamb, aka Blake from Lock City, 
was in the 1600 block of West John Quill Turns when someone walked up on him and shot this guy in the head. He was so much of a well-loved Lock City member, they renamed Lock City Blake Block after his death in his honor. Plus, allegedly, Young Pappy was on his hit with Spaz PBG. And this is really when the beef turned up a few notches because Young Pappy was sliding consistently on the ops. Allegedly, Young Pappy and some TFG members, which are members from a different set that are in close relation with PBG, but allegedly they was consistently sliding on DDW block, specifically Lil Duke from DDW. So that's when DDW retaliated. DDW is a renegade gangster disciple set that beef heavily with PBG, and they went to take out one of the closest people to Young Pappy. December 2nd, 2013, Menze Kaif, aka Two Cup from the TFG set, when someone approached him and shot him in the shoulder and the right hip, he was pronounced dead at St. Francis Hospital. Young Pappy even made a song dedicated to this guy, where he spells out his pain to rap about the homies he's lost. The song is named Two Cups, with over 14 million views of today. But let's get to this next situation because this next situation is crazy too and young pappy was involved in this next situation it was february 5th 2014 where makia Carr, aka keo from pbg and pappy was at a mcdonald's when allegedly king ty from lock city and munchie from lock city approached him and started shooting killing Marquio Carr, aka keo from pbg young pappy was shot in the arm and was allegedly arrested after the shooting pappy and munchie from lock city used to be cool with each other and actually has pictures together when they was young before the beef fell out this murder would bring even more attention between lock city and pbg then april 15th 2014 a maintenance man poured bleach and hot water on a blood spot with 16 year old keno glass aka keno from blake block was killed hours earlier in the shooting as he was only visiting family at an apartment building at Ashland Avenue. But this next person allegedly got killed over a Facebook post because in the beginning of May of 2014, Cortez Reed, aka TZ from L4M, would drop a post saying this, referring to a diss song he was about to drop about young Pappy. But only a couple weeks later, on May 24th, 2014, Cortez Reed, aka TZ, was standing in the 900 block of West Windsor Avenue when someone walked up on him and fired multiple shots just after 8 p.m. He was a well-loved L4M member, but allegedly in 2014, L4M and TBG tried to set up Young Poppy, hoping to get back for TZ, and they were driving in the car when he spotted Pappy. They hopped out the car chasing and shooting at Young Poppy, missing Young Pappy but hitting an innocent bystander. As his beef was turning up on the north, more members continued to die. And on July 22, 2014, at around 9.50 a.m., police responded to a 911 call on a report of shots fired at Oakton Street and McCormick Boulevard. And when they arrived, they found 23-year-old Anton Santos, aka Pep from PBG, shot to death, and this was days after allegedly young Pappy was shot at. But then a well-loved Lock City slash Blake Block member would die. And this was the same guy that grew up with young Pappy. And even though young Pappy and him grew up with each other, this was a valuable Lock City member to take out. So on September 11th, 2014, Glenford Johnson, aka Munchie from Blake Block slash Lock City, was in the 1600 block of West Juneway turns when someone walked up on him and shot him multiple times. And you was wondering who was allegedly on his hit? Yup, Young Poppy and another alleged PBG member. Let's rewind back to how this beef even started though. Munchie was allegedly the one that killed Pooh Bear because allegedly Pooh Bear stole a gun from Munchie while he was sleeping in his house. And this was when Munchie, Pooh Bear, and Young Poppy were all cool. And Pooh Bear left with the gun and lied when Munchie confronted him about it. Pooh Bear eventually wanted to give the gun back to Munchie, so he called Munchie to meet up with him. Munchie thinking that Pooh Bear was trying to set him up, he met with him and shot him with the same gun that he gave back to him. And that's how Pooh Bear allegedly died and started the beef between Lock City and PBG, even though the older OGs been beefing with Lock City. So after Young Pappy allegedly took out Munchie, his career was truly on a rise, pulling millions of views throughout YouTube. Plus, he was still in the streets, still sliding on his ops, and ducking hot beef with Lock City. Yeah, you know, guys, man, some movement and this 9th 2015 where talented young pappy would become a victim of gun violence they wanted young pappy so bad that he had previously been an intended target in at least two shootings that left bystanders dead 19 year old shaquan thomas aka young poppy from pbg was in the 4800 block of north kenmore avenue at 1 35 a.m when gunfire erupted witnesses reported saying a black car that may have been associated with the shooting he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at 2 
or 4 a.m. This was PBG's most valuable assassin. Plus, Young Pappy was getting super hot on the music tip around this time. Really, go back and look at his views, he was pulling nothing less than 10 million views per video. And after the death of Young Pappy, the beef turned up even more, and PBG knew that they had to get get back for their most valuable member. Villian Francis, aka V2 from Lock City, was out front of his house playing with his kids at around 1.30 p.m. when his fiance spotted a rival gang member, Lil Sean from PBG, riding his bike down the street. Lil Sean and another PBG member went in the cut to put their mask on, and as V12 went to gather his kids' stuff, Lil Sean and another PBG member came and shot him multiple times. But on November 26, 2015, on Thanksgiving Day, John Tay Walker, aka Mosey from PBG, was outside in the 2200 block of West Thome Avenue when someone jumped out of the back of a dark green minivan and shot him multiple times. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Then it would be a Lock City member because on May 8th, 2016, Keon Lewis, aka Kiki from Lock City slash Blake Block, was riding in a vehicle on Lakeshore Drive at around 5.08 a.m. when someone pulled up on him and shot him multiple times in the car. His car crashed and he was pronounced dead at the scene. There would be back and forth murders throughout these next years. And even though PBG beef with other gangs, we mainly focusing on Lock City. But then it was August 10th, 2016. Dante Roberts, aka Dante from PBG, was sitting in a vehicle at about 10.56 p.m. in a 5900 block of West Deviantson Avenue when someone got out of a nearby vehicle and started shooting at him. He was shot in the head and was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead. Then it was September 10th, 2016, where a Blake Block member would lose his life. It was 4.05 a.m. in the 1500 block of West John Quill Turns when someone walked up on Javon O'Brien, aka Vaughnie from Blake Block, and shot him multiple times. He was pronounced dead at 5.50 a.m. And then another Blake Block slash Lock City member would lose their life. This would be nearly a whole year that went past before anybody else lost their life. You already know, man. My little niggas out here chopping you niggas in half, man. What's up, man? I'm fucking with this rap shit, I just missed my hit. August 20th, 2016, Remus Campbell, aka Romy from Blake Block, was in a group standing outside at about 4.30 a.m. on a sidewalk in the 7700 block of North Ashland when a Ford SUV drove past and someone inside fired shots in that direction, striking Remus Campbell in the neck. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead at 5.35 a.m. Over a year will go past before another PBG member will lose their life. It would be a day before Christmas on December 24th, 2018. Lawrence Hearn, aka Boo Boo from PBG, was found unresponsive in a 1200 block on West Lund Avenue inside of a home with blood force trauma to his head. He was pronounced dead at the scene at 6.41 a.m. Then March 8th, 2019, Zachary Hadik, aka Lil Zach from PBG, was found with gunshot wounds to the eye in the 400 block of West Cullum. He was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced dead from his injuries. Then it was Timothy Lamax, aka Duddy from PBG. March 31st, 2019, this would happen when five people were shot in the same event at about 3.02 a.m. The victims were standing on the sidewalk in a 500 block of North Hamlin Avenue when someone approached the group on foot and opened fire, leaving Timothy Lamax aka Duddy from PBG dead. Other people were hit too, I'm not sure if anybody else died from this event though. Then June 27, 2019, Quentin Brown aka Lil D-Boy from PBG was standing on the sidewalk around 2.15pm in the 6900 block of North Glenwood Avenue when someone on foot shot him 8 times leaving him dead. He was only 17 years of age and was talking about getting his life together. But let's fast forward to August 24th, 2021 because there was many other murders before and after this, but this is one notable murder because I remember we was talking about earlier that Lil Pappy was sliding on consistently, would end up losing his life. Ralph Banks, aka Lil Duke from DDW, was traveling east on Eastern Highway Expressway near California Avenue. When both him and the driver were shot, Lil Duke was shot in the head and was pronounced dead at the scene. The driver though had non-life threatening injuries. Lil Duke was a big target for PVG and that's why Lil Pappy allegedly consistently slid on him. My blessings and condolences go out to the families that lost their loved ones in this war but that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment and subscribe and let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always stay blessed and stay well. Yeah yeah I'm out.